This video will discuss the features and briefly touch on the operation of the HAL Technology HPC 600 handheld particle counter. Let's move the calibration certificate aside to look at the components. We have the handset itself, we have the isokinetic probe, we have the optional relative humidity temperature probe, we have the standard power adapter for 100 to 240 volts. We have the optional 0.2 micron filter, which is used for zero count verification and for sensor purge maintenance. We have the standard USB cable to download data from the unit to the computer. We have CD with the software to be installed on the computer to download the data. And we have the optional tripod to minimize human interference when using automated sampling. The HPC 300 is simple and easy to use. It has the capability of USB download of the data to a computer. It has the capability of timer, auto delay, auto repeat, and excess count limit warning, etc. Furthermore, it has the option of location labeling and can store 3000 size memories. The optional relative humidity temperature probe was just installed and it also has the option for mass concentration measurements which is good for the IAQ market. All HAL Technology products are CE certified. If you're interested in obtaining this particle counter please contact us so that we may provide a detailed quote including optional accessories. To operate the unit press the power button for a couple of seconds until we hear a beep and then let go. We start off on the measuring screen. Let's move on to the browsing screen. On this screen we can view historical data and we can print or delete that same data. Moving on we have the settings screen where we can change the optional the parameters in the system. We can change the sizes that we sort the particles into we can change the date and time. We can change the sampling time with resolution of seconds. We can change whether or not we save every sample or not. We can choose the time delay for the start and the interval between samples. We can choose the number of samples to take in one sequence. We can choose the alarm, whether or not we alarm at standard alarm conditions or not. We can set the location and we can choose the count mode and to view the various count modes we have available, in this case we have the cumulative count mode, we have a concentration mode in counts per liter and we can also cycle through these and change the type of concentration mode, in this case counts per liter and we have the optional microns per cubic meter which can be converted to EPA PM value. We have the counts per cubic foot and we have the counts per cubic meter. And if we return from this, we can also switch to the differential count mode. All of these modes are available at any time for display and in the case of the optional unit for measurement of the PM values. Continuing we can look, we have the option of beeping every time we press a key, which is obviously on in this case. We have the option of turning the backlight on, off, or turn off after a preset time. And we have automatic print mode or not. Returning out of the setting screen, we move to the measuring screen. In this case, we'll take a sample measurement. And for this purpose, we'll also demonstrate the optional mini printer. Plug the mini printer in, turn it on, and take a sample with the unit. When not in use, the cap should be placed over the sensing port to protect the handset. HAL Technology typically recommends yearly calibration for this specialty instrument to maintain accurate results. 
the unit should be returned to HAL Technology for calibration. Beware of counterfeit products not manufactured by HAL Technology. Since a new unit must be calibrated before shipping, customers should expect authentic instruments to be shipped directly from our U.S. facility. Thank you.